Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another review. Today we're looking at another vintage collection. This is the Luke Skywalker and Grogu pack. I've been looking forward to this one. Pick this one up from Zing. Uh, pop culture here in Australia. So, yeah, it's just, just come out this last week. I do have the Sabine on its way through my work as well, so I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, nice look at the packaging. This Luke is coming out on an individual vintage card at some point in the near future. But for now, wanted to pick up this with all the little extra pieces. I think it was really cool. Some good artwork on the side. And then, yeah, on the back, you get a look at all the, all the included accessories as well as the figure. Nice image there of Luke walking with Grogu. So, without further ado, let's bust it open and have a look at what's inside. Alright, here we are. This is Luke, Grogu, and all the little accessories out of the packaging. I have assembled the little frogs on the uh, little stand here, which is kind of cool. I like this a lot. Let's just move them out of the way a little bit. We'll take a look at the accessories and we'll take a look at the figures. So, yeah, starting off, we have the little force floating frogs with the little water piece. I actually really like this. This is cool. Um, there's some tiny little pegs on each of these little water spurts there. So they sort of peg in nicely um, into the back of the frogs there. So you can spin them, you know, you can have them upside down and spinning, spinning around, doing whatever you want. Floating around in the air. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually kind of a really cool piece. I, I, I'm digging it. I like that a lot. So that's a, it's a nice little extra piece for, the, uh, for your display. So there's that. Uh, we do get four of these little frogs, which we've seen in a more sort of blue colour before, but this, these are all sort of a different green. Still the same sort of mould of the one-eyed frog. Very sort of minuscule little thing, but yeah, four of them. So you can, uh, you know, if you wanted to make a little, a little pond, a little diorama pond, you have your little frogs populating that. Right, so also also we get uh, Yoda's lightsaber there, former little Grogu Jedi Master, not Grogu, but Yoda, you know, same species. Um, lip blade, his unignited hilt there, which is nice. I don't think we've actually seen that before, except maybe one of the unpeggable ones, but this is just a single, single piece. So I like that you get both of those options. So you get Luke's Lip Blade, which looks reasonably nice. And of course, Luke's Unlit Blade, which comes with a peg. Um, unfortunately, the figure doesn't have a peg hole, so you can't peg it to him anywhere, but that's okay. I'm probably gonna display him with the lightsaber doing some training. Then another accessory that came with the Black Series version, which came out a couple of months ago, we have the little, the little satchel uh, that Mandalorian comes to gift Grogu when he comes to visit. It's a little bit suspicious that it kind of looks like Grogu's head, but um, I guess that's that sort of symbolo sim symbology. Is that the right word? I don't know. Symbolism. Um, he sort of sees this little package and makes him think of uh, Grogu. And then we have the little chainmail piece, which is just freaking adorable, honestly. Like, I love that. Like, it's just a soft little plastic piece, but you can sort of see there is a little bit of a, a molded design in there. Some sort of ripples in the, in the quote-unquote fabric. So when it is sort of sitting there on display, it's not just like a flat piece. Catches some shadow. It's kind of cool. I dig that. Um, then we get the backpack, which is nice too. You can fit little little Grogu in there. While I like the fabric, I kind of like the uh, the solid thing of the Black Series. Um, I think because this giant clip here in the front is quite big, but the backpack is a nicer scale compared to the Dagobah Luke with Yoda that came out. Ooh early three three quarter inch black series days because that's a that's a big backpack there <laughs> it's like he's packing a swag for a 
for a long time, but yeah, same same clip there, same sort of clip system used for that one. So I will try and put that on Luke momentarily. I'll leave a little Grogu sitting in there for the moment. Actually, I'll take him out so we can have a look. So there is little Grogu, ever so slightly different, I believe. I believe every single one of them have been different. I know Hasbro said when they put out Grogu, each little release of him would have a very sort of slightly different head sculpt, whether it's just the positioning of the ears, a slight different expression on his face. Um, you know, we've had ones with extra different arms now that, you know, one's holding a little bowl. Um, so yeah, not a huge amount of difference between them, but, you know, still such a tiny little minuscule thing, but still nice. So we'll pop him in the bag there. And then we'll take a look at Luke. Take a look at Luke. Now this is a very nice Luke figure. I, If I'm honest, I, I like the outfit. I like the more sort of simple sort of vibe that Luke is giving off with his outfit in this. You know, he's very much sort of in his place, you know, learning about the Force, taking, you know, beginning his role as a, as a Jedi mentor to young students. He's setting himself up. But yeah, just, just a nice sort of simple sort of simple outfit. You know, still rocking the all black like he was in Return of the Jedi and post Return of the Jedi. But yeah, it's sort of a simple sort of wrap around shirt. Still wearing the black glove. So I cover up the uh, the robot hand. The addition of soft goods down here is nice, so it allows for that sort of little bit of extra movement there. Not always necessary, but it's cool when they do it and they get it right. Sometimes it looks a little bit funny, but in this case, I think it looks good. The head sculpt looks pretty nice. Just get a focus on that. Go. That's about as close as I'm going to get, I think, with my camera. But I think that's a reasonable, reasonable looking look. I think that looks pretty solid. Maybe a little bit sort of doe-eyed, and but that's all good. Even just the slight little mark there for the dimple on his chin. Little details like that really counts. Um, Articulation-wise, he's just got the double barbell joint in the neck. He's got the hinge in the shoulders, the swivel as well, ball hinge in the in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrists. Uh, both are the up and down wrists, so that's good. Sort of a bit of a barbell joint in the in the lower waist there. Ball joint in the hips, swivel at the thighs. Joint there at the knees. You can get a bit of a 45 degree there, which is nice. And then the ball joint on the ankles there with the rocker, so you can get some cool poses with him. And uh, yeah, while we're here, let's zoom back out a little bit more. Let's try the uh, the backpack on, see how that looks. It's one thing to see it in pictures. It's another thing to take a look at it in person. To get a nice idea of how it actually sits. So it feels a lot more sort of nice and snug in comparison to the Dagobah one that I showed before. So it's sort of sitting there okay. That doesn't look too bad. I know the clip is a little bit, you know, it's not the nicest on the eyes, but if you could find a way to attach that with something a little bit simpler, that would be, you know, super ideal. It looks like it sort of sits on the back there okay. Grogu fits in there nicely. Not hating it. Not hating it at all. I think it looks kind of good. This makes it good for some shots. If you're a bit of a toy photographer, it looks good. We'll pop that back off again. Nice and easy. 
and we'll give Luke his lightsaber, which he looks like he'll hold nicely. Nice, nice firm grip there in the hand, which is good. And just for just for fun, I'm going to give him Yoda's lightsaber as well in the other hand, which I think would be a you know really cool idea to see Luke maybe you know when Grogu rejects the saber, maybe Luke decides to use it himself as a Shoto saber, much like Ahsoka. Uh, he did use a bit of a Shoto saber in some parts of the expanded universe. I can't remember the exact storylines, but. I don't know, I like the idea. Maybe maybe Ahsoka teaches him how to dual wield and he makes it his thing for a little while. Maybe he decides he doesn't like using two blades and goes back to the single blade that we that we know. But you know, for the purposes of learning learning to become a you know high prowess Jedi, maybe he could learn to, to dual wield for a little while. I don't think it would look that bad. This is a this is a nice figure. I'm, I'm liking this one. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I'm looking forward to getting him out for some photos. Yeah, again, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for watching. Be back with some more very soon. Till then, may the force be with you. Put Grogu there. Just gonna put Grogu in there quickly, just to the end. May the force be with you always.